Hi, I'm Teresa Malloy, President of the Neary New York Chapter, and welcome to Neary Headliners in partnership with Business Wire. Investor Day is one of the most important events that I are host throughout the year. I recently had an opportunity to talk to Samantha Totoro, who's Director of Investor Relations at BlackRock. Samantha shared her three ingredients to build a successful Investor Day. Stay tuned to hear from Samantha. So the first tip is be strategic about your agenda. There are a number of things to think about when crafting your agenda. First of all, it's one of the first things that you do when planning an investor day. Um, questions that we like to ask ourselves are, is there any new disclosure that we want to present at this investor day? Um, what kind of content will be value add for the investors that are coming all the way to participate in investor day? And which presenters will make this content most successful. So it really takes thinking ahead about your agenda, especially because given it's one of the first things that you do, your investor day might be four months to six months out from there. So I would also suggest thinking about any strategic changes that might take place at your company between the time of planning the agenda and hosting the actual investor day. Um, we try to, at BlackRock, host an investor day that is about a half day's worth of an agenda. Um, you don't want to keep people in the audience for too long droning on about things that investors might already know. Uh, you want to put engaging people in front of the audience, um, people who are used to speaking to, to larger audiences, or make sure that you prepare your presenters in advance for speaking in front of the shareholder type community. Rigorous project management is essential to hosting a successful investor day. I like to start by picking the date way in advance. Um, you want to be able to send a save the date to the investors and analysts and others that you're inviting to your investor day, as well as make sure it's at a good spot relative to your industry's calendar in terms of different conferences and other annual meetings and events that might be taking place. Once you've picked a date, I work back to formulate a project plan. So I like to build in two weeks of rehearsals, one sort of dry dress rehearsal and another dry run, if possible, at the location that you're hosting the event, but not totally necessary. Um, we also like to build in time for creating presentations and also writing scripts for presenters. Even if your presenter is not planning to use a script on stage, it's really helpful to write a script when you send the materials around to other business leaders and C-level executives to make sure you're delivering the right content. Very helpful to have a flow of information to understand what are the main points that that internal speaker is going to deliver during that presentation. Um, in investor relations at BlackRock, we like to lead the content creation process. It's really important at an investor day for a company to co come across as a cohesive firm that works together and is integrated. And having investor relations lead content creation, partnering with different business leaders and internal speakers is a really great way to make sure that the delivery of content is consistent across presentations and I think means a lot to the investment community. Um, I also like to try to make presenters feel as comfortable as possible. So make sure you're checking in with them. Make sure that if you are leading the process, you get on their calendar well in advance and plan all of the prep sessions and how long it will take to put together each presentation. Finally, day of logistics and project management is really important too. Making sure that everything that you've planned for so far in advance is well executed on the day of the event. And the third tip is prepare for Q&A. Um, because you're inviting your investors to come sit at your investor day for either a half day or a full day, and you're going to be presenting to them the entire day, it's really important to offer them a question and answer session, an opportunity to ask the questions that they have. Um, you can be strategic about when you plan for this Q&A to happen. It could happen at the end of each presentation so that each internal speaker or business leader is answering their own set of questions, or you could save it for the end of the day and have someone perhaps in investor relations or your CFO or CEO 
host the Q&A session. That gives you a little bit more control in terms of who asks the questions and who answers the questions. Sometimes we call on business leaders in the audience to stand up and answer a question that might be relevant to them. Um, in order to prepare for a Q&A session like this, we try to anticipate the questions that investors will ask to each internal speaker. So make a list of 10 to 15 questions that investors could ask and prepare for your business leaders or internal speakers four to five bullet points each on what an appropriate answer to that question is. Finally, provide training to your business leaders, both Reg SD training as well as what to say and what not to say to this investment community audience. Speakers may not always be trained to speak to shareholders of your company's stock. They might be used to speaking to clients or employees, so help them out and make them feel comfortable. Well, you heard it from one of the leaders in investor relations. Thanks to Samantha Tutor from BlackRock for sharing her three ingredients to build a successful investor relations day. This is Teresa Malloy signing off from Business Wire headquarters in New York.